what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living This video has been highly requested and here it is. You ask and I will deliver. This is my 2024 everything body care, shower, and skincare routine. And we're starting off the vibes right by trimming the wicks on one of my new favorite candles. This is a cinnamon spice vanilla candle. When I do the shower routines, I cannot go without a candle. Now, can I share a quote with you? Oh my gosh, I love reading quotes on my free time on Pinterest, right? And before I even get to that, this vanilla candle from Bath & Body Works is everything they need to release it in a three wick. But this quote says, learn to light a candle in the darkest moments of someone's life. Be the light that helps others see. It is what gives life its deepest significance. Ooh. The power of a good quote can change your day. I'm telling you, it can change your life. It can change your day, your mood. I love it and I had to share that with you now I want to tell you before we even get started that this shower routine is not something I do every single day I want to say I do this about two to three times per week because most times I just want to get in and out but one thing I do do every single day is play music when I'm in the shower it's either I'm watching TikTok or I'm playing music but this playlist right here is called R&B with Jesus and you would think like you know some people don't want to listen to gospel worship music you know I don't know maybe it's not your thing but this playlist, I will link it down below. It is beautifully put together. The songs are amazing. They're my vibe. R&B is my favorite genre. And the fact that it's, you know, no cursing. It's it's just that good energy, that good vibe. I mean, this was just perfect for an everything shower routine. When I get in the shower, usually, and I'm trying my best, <laughs> I'm super tired, right? I shower every single morning and I shower at night. If I work out during the day, maybe I'll shower again. But getting in the shower can be a task for a lot of people. And that's why I make these videos because we're in this together, right? We're going to make it fun. We're going to set the vibes. And we're going to push through. Because keeping up with our hygiene, making sure that we smell good and that we feel good is super important. So you saw that I put on a shower cap. It's not the cutest, but hey, I'm protecting my hair because that's what we care about, right? <laughs> um, and I'm going in with this daily brightening turmeric and sea moss bar soap. Now they sent this to me in PR and I used this on a trip with my fiance maybe a couple months ago and I loved it. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I always use bar soap in the shower. I do my little double cleanse. That's just something I've been doing for a very long time, bar soap and then liquid soap. I really like this soap because you can actually read all the ingredients on the back. Don't we love when the ingredients are easy to read and we actually know what's in what we're using? So what I'm using to actually shower and soap up with are these little washcloths and rags and scrubs that I got from TJ Maxx. This I'm using in place of my regular rag. I really wanted to try this out. I really like it. I like it that it's not too harsh when I'm exfoliating because I actually go in with this blue exfoliating washcloth from Bliss. I'll link this down below. I use this and I'm telling you it gets the dirt and the grime off the skin and then leaving me baby soft and smooth. All I want to do is feel clean. That's why I'm taking a shower, right? So anything that helps, <laughs> I'm using it. Now, I almost forgot about this because I haven't done one of these videos in so long. But when it comes to the beginning of my shower and using a bar soap like this, we call it the base clean. If you remember, let me know in the comments down below. But this is called the base clean. We want to make sure we touch bases, right? We get our armpits, we get our neck, we get, you know, the back of our thighs, our legs, whatever we need to do to make sure that we are very squeaky clean. This is the moment, right? Like life be life in sometimes, right? So if anything happens, right, we get called out to do something, our kids crying, oh, we forgot about the food that's on the stove burning. At least, at the very least, we got the base clean done. Okay, and we scrub the parts that are like the most important right away. <laughs> now, not only are my shower routines about the products that I'm using and how I'm using them, I really like to get into the way that we feel, not only on the outside, but the inside too. A series that I started here on my channel about, mm, I want to say three to four years ago now, 
it's called shower therapy i used to watch a lot of videos on youtube that were called makeup therapy and because my channel was kind of centered around body care and hygiene products and smell good products you know i wanted to do something that resembled that but make it my own you know so taking a shower for me has always been therapeutic it's my alone time it's when i think of the best ideas whether that be personal growth or career goals I love being able to take this time out for myself. And if you were able to do that today, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back. Now, the second part of my shower routine always consists of using a liquid soap. Dr. Teal's body wash is one of my staples. I love this. I continue to go back to this. This is the ginger and clay with essential oils, and it's meant to detoxify and energize the skin. It smells really nice, and I got mine at Burlington for a pretty good price. Dr. Teal's body wash lasts you a very long time. I've noticed with several body washes that I purchased that they run out in less than two seconds and that's kind of annoying because especially when you want to get in the shower, you want to make sure that you have enough to wash your body with. Now I'm using my exfoliating washcloth that I got from Bliss and like I mentioned earlier, I will link this down below. Check out the lather. I am soaked all the way up okay from my head to my toes baby this really makes the most out of your soap and again leaves my skin very soft and smooth one thing when it comes to my showers and making sure that i'm clean is wanting to feel like i actually did something in the shower right i feel like some rags can leave you feeling like you didn't even do anything in the shower i know that with my deodorant and i'll show you guys later on in the video i need to be able to scrub that off my deodorant stays on me so when i'm using something like this oh my goodness it really gets the deodorant off completely and i really appreciate that because I don't want deodorant just staying under my arms like when I'm ready to take it off it needs to come off okay I'm gonna put you on to a really good body scrub this is the Josie Moran argan oil body scrub in the topless tangerine I think it is I am in love this was my first time using it because I've been using the body cream in both scents in the tangerine and the bohemian fig and i decided since i'm using those body creams today i would pair it with this scrub in the shower one of the most commonly asked questions that i've seen on tiktok and instagram and all over youtube and social media is how to smell good all day how to get my fragrance to last longer and it all comes down to skin prep what you're doing in the shower really counts and if i know that i want to smell really nice all day and i know that i have a body cream that matches my body scrub i'm gonna layer those together and it really starts with being intentional about what you want to smell like for the day now sometimes i like to just pick whatever and go with it but again it really just starts in the shower and practicing these small little hygiene tips now when i say my skin was baby soft and smooth using this body scrub i wouldn't tell you a lie I was pleasantly surprised. Now, Josie Moran's products have always been really good. I love it. But when I tell you I had to do a little dance, okay? <laughs> I already felt the softness exuding from my body, okay? But I love this scrub because I normally use like um, a shaving oil in the shower, right? I didn't even have to do that with my legs for this. I went ahead and used this scrub and when you wash it off, it feels like you put on lotion or a body oil. It's that good. I think it's definitely worth the money. I got mine at Sephora, and I believe the Sephora sale is going on now. So this is a perfect time. Again, everything that I'm talking to you guys about will be linked down below so that you can get it easy access. Let me know in the comments right now what your scent of the day is. I know this video is a little different, but you know I didn't forget. You let me know. You pause the video and let me know how you smell it. What did you use in the shower today? What's your routine looking like? Because not only do I put you guys onto products, you guys be putting me onto the best stuff. So I appreciate that. So let me know. Please don't hesitate. If you're new to the channel, I would love to welcome you in the comments down below. How are you doing? I want to know. I love y'all. And listen, this channel would not be what it is without you. And I love you. So thank you so, so, so much. I'm working on getting rid of hyperpigmentation, dark spots, 
you know, all those things. And I decided to use this clear and even tone body cleansing bar from Urban Skin RX. I've used their skincare products and I wanted to use this under my arms. If you notice, I didn't exfoliate my underarms with the Josie Moran body scrub because I wanted to just use this. I'm going to tell you right now, this product is not for the weak, but it really does help with hyperpigmentation and darkness in the underarm and bikini line area. For this video, I only used it under my arms and it was good. Now, the application is very simple. You use that sponge and it's really small, but when you put it in the water, it expands. Now, I used it to rub my armpits. I really go like all over the area, right? Like a little bit above and a little bit below just to get in there right and make sure i'm hitting all the spots like i said this product is not for the week because again this was my everything shower routine so immediately after this i went into shaving my armpits i probably won't recommend you do that but i just did it for the sake of time <laughs> so because i felt like my armpits were a little bit more dry after i used this eos shave oil only for my underarms and I mean, the scent on this is really nice, right? I don't know why I don't love the lotion as much. I know the EOS lotion in the vanilla cashmere is very popular, but I only like it in the shave oil. I feel like I can tolerate it as like a shower product, but not so much as a lotion or body care product. This is when I said and meant that this was not for the week, right? Like I felt the little burning, stinging sensation. It didn't last long and after that I was able to shave accordingly. I hadn't shaved in so long, you guys, and I am so happy because I feel so refreshed. Like after I shave everything and I pretty much shave my arms and my legs and then everything else I get waxed, I just feel like a brand new person, a brand new woman. Walking around like you can't tell me not a thing. <laughs> and again, with my legs, I did not use a shave oil. This was simply off of the silky smoothness that was left on my skin after using the Josie Moran body scrub. Like, you can actually see, like, the water droplets. You see how it's staying on my legs? It left my skin so smooth that the razor was just able to glide effortlessly. Now, can we talk about Grace? And extending some of it to ourselves and this message is not only for you it's for me too because I've been so hard on myself and my skin my skin has been through a lot and a lot of it's due to hormonal imbalances life happening stress diet changes and I mean I've been so hard on myself like oh my skin isn't perfect and my skin isn't doing what it needs to do but the improvement that I've seen in my skin the past couple months has been tremendous. And I just use this sulfur soap that I got from like a regular like grocery store. And it's been so nice and it's been helping my skin. And I don't have any active breakouts, but one of the goals that I'm working on is getting rid of the dark spots and reducing as many flare ups as I can. Grace is the word. And I have extended that to myself and giving myself a pat on the back for the small wins, right? <laughs> One of the habits that I had to break out of was using the same towel on my body, on my face, right? To dry it. I can't do that anymore. My skin is so sensitive. And I use these face towels from Clean Skin Club. I know a lot of people think they're a waste of money, but I think they're a great product. And it makes my skin feel really good after use. And I feel like it's the best thing for my sensitive skin. So I'm continuing to buy them. Now, I just threw on this little headband like all the girlies be doing on TikTok because I got this in PR and I was like, hey, why not? Because I'm tired of wearing the shower cap. My lips are a huge part of my routine. Like, I'm always going to wear some sort of lip gloss, lip mask, chapstick. I try to make sure that I test a lot of these on my lips before I continue to use them, you know, for a long period of time. Only because I've noticed that the skin on my lips, you know, they're they're very sensitive. Now, with my face routine, right, I don't do too much. Now, it's going to look like I use a lot of stuff, but I always keep in mind that I'm going to be doing my makeup as well. And L'Occitane has some amazing products that have been awesome for my sensitive skin. I try to use products for at least like a week, right? And not in a time where I know I'm going to get my period or anything, just so I can see if I have any breakouts. And if, 
you know the product is good i'm like okay this is in the clear and i continue to use it my under eye prep is extremely important i get a lot of creasing under my eyes when i apply my makeup if my under eyes aren't moisturized to the t like they need to be very much hydrated before i put on makeup because that creasing will look terrible right and also i feel like this is one of the most luxurious parts of my routine i can tell when i'm going through very stressful times and you know taxing situations when i look under my eyes and they just don't look too good now i want to tell you about this topicals under eye mask i've been using this for a little bit now it's been about a month and I am in love with it. I love it so much. And right now is the perfect time to purchase them. I'm sure they're going to be on sale because of the Sephora sale. And when I use these, I just feel like the self-care queen that I am, right? Like I'm just doing an extra step that not many people are going to do, right? Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I love it. And I keep them on for about like 15 minutes. And that's it. I saw some people wearing them all day. It's a no. Take them off. <laughs> Vitamin C is very important, especially when you're targeting dark spots and acne scars. And I love this product from Ole Henriksen because it has vitamin C and it's a primer. So I use this underneath my makeup so that my base is smooth, honey. And again, I'm getting that vitamin C in that sometimes I really just don't get because I don't have a lot of vitamin C products. And the last thing that I do as far as moisturizer is my CeraVe. I've been using this forever. It doesn't break me out. It lasts so long. I mean, I probably buy one, like one a year. <laughs> and this right here, if I don't put you onto anything, it's the Elta MD sunscreen. Did you know sunscreen helps to get rid of these dark spots? I am targeting these things. Like I'm telling you, you're going to keep track from this video. We're working on it. Like I've been working on it, but we're working on it, honey. And sunscreen helps to get rid of dark spots. Did you know when you don't wear sunscreen and you go out in the sun, it actually darkens these spots on your face? When I heard that, I was like, immediately no. And the Elta MD is a medical grade sunscreen. Depending on what you use before this, it can leave a tiny white cast, but to me, it's not too bad. You're going to want to run to Sprouts to buy this mineral salt deodorant. I love it. You can put it all over your body and I use it before I use like my Donna Karen and you can use it all over on your feet, bikini line. It's amazing and it keeps you fresh. A tip that I use with my deodorant is I wipe it off. Okay. I wipe it off just to, just to clean it, you know. We're at the body care portion of the video. I feel like this video is just going too fast for me. Like, I'm so sad. <laughs> but I'm using this oil here all over my body from Urban Skin RX. I'm a big fan of their products. And this one targets stretch marks and scarring. I have stretch marks. I mean, I lose weight, I gain weight, and now I'm back on my fat loss journey. So I have stretch marks under my arms, you know, on my boobs. It's real, honey. So I love using a body oil first. I do recommend using your body oil straight out of the shower, but I ended up doing my makeup this day, but I always say use the body oil straight out of the shower on damp skin to lock in moisture and to keep your skin hydrated and smooth all day long. You should never have to apologize for embracing the things that you love the most and yourself should be one of them. Taking time for your body care, your shower routine, your skincare, they're important parts of who you are. I'm not cutting this part of my routine short. I barely have a routine sometimes because of how crazy life is. So I'm going to keep this one going strong and I encourage you guys to do the same. I'm using the Josie Moran Body Butter in the Topless Tangerine. You can see how much I've used of this. I believe I purchased this maybe about a month ago, two months now, and I was just raving about it. So to see how much I've used and how much I love it, I don't regret the purchase at all. It's a great body butter. And I mean, again, I've layered it with my body scrub and oh, you guys, I can't wait for you to see the perfume. Oh, this cream is amazing and you don't know how soft my skin feels, especially after using that oil. Now, I don't want to end the video without giving you guys some encouragement because there's some things that I've learned in the past few weeks that have really encouraged me and have spoken to my soul. A quote that I read said, be the woman you would look up to. Rather than comparing ourselves and finding the inadequacies within ourselves when we look at other people, I look at other people who are where I want to be as motivation and I take inspiration. 
Even when it comes to your fragrance, you should find something that you absolutely love. No matter what, if it's popular, if it's not, it's your collection after all. I'm using the Brightest Bloom Fine Fragrance Mist and it smells like Chanel Eau Tendre to me. It is so good. I went back and purchased it after seeing it in the store. I paired it with this Killian Fun Things Happen After Sunset Perfume. I think this one is discontinued, but it smells like lychee. It is so fruity, so pretty. I kind of bring this out towards spring and summer. The vibes were just right, you guys. I was smelling so good, feeling good, hair done, makeup done. There's just something about a good shower and body care routine that just ignites the fire within me, okay? Leave a heart in the comments down below if you made it this far. Thanks for spending time here with me. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.